Welcome guys. So today we are going to talk about undo table spaces in Oracle database. We have so many data table spaces in Oracle uh, like uh, undo and uh, sys and uh, temporary table space and users table space. So these are the kind of table spaces we are have, we have in Oracle. But today we are going to talk about undo table space. So what it is, how we use it, how we manage it, we will discuss in our further videos. So what is undo data? So Oracle records all the data that is about to change as undo. The information allows Oracle to undo changes in case of rollback. So what is undo? It is a pre it is copy of pre-modified data that is captured for every transaction that changes data. Like for if you put anything in the notepad or anything. So if we want to undo it, we that should that is removed from there. So the same case in database. If you are going to insert anything, if you want if you want to undo it, we, we must remove that. So for this undo is the undo is the data which is uh, performing the previous action of the data if you are making any changes okay uh, so why we need this undo data in oracle so to support read consistency we'll discuss what read consistency in our next videos uh, just remembering this here mentioning this here for read consistency uh, to for rollback transaction I as I have already told you if you want if you have made any change and want to roll back it then we require that undo data because without undo data we cannot we do not remember what what we have it in that position earlier so for rollback transaction this is also required uh, to recover from a failed trunks if you have a transaction which is long running or uh, it, which is failed after some time so what we have to put in the data field which was earlier that is undo data so these are the reasons we require undo data in oracle so for an insert state if we update and uh, if we made an insert to a table then undo data is we need to remove that ins insert inserted row so for insert statement and delete is a undo data okay we delete that uh, row and that is the undo data insert statement delete statement is the undo data for an, similarly for an update statement older data is the undo data like we have updated uh, salary is equal to 50 1500 where id is equal to one so earlier salary which was maybe a thousand five hundred whatever the salary which was earlier that is the undo data and uh, we require this uh, in our uh, daily life as well if we do not uh, want some changes to commit or some changes in the uh, database or, uh, or in our daily life we, we just undo it we just uh, move to a previous location previous uh, state of the data so that this is called undo data uh, so how long undo data stays in the database there are few things you need to remember on the basis of undo data stays in the database after you user commit or roll back the transaction like I already told you uh, if a user committed a transaction we do not trade undo data for that transaction for that row same uh, the, with the rollback if uh, user committed any changes and he do not like it or he do not want it then he roll back to the previous uh, state of the data and which which is in the which uh, so we do not need undo data because undo data is the previous state of the data so if the uh, if we already did the rollback then undo data is not required if a user commit the data commit the transaction then undo data is not required because after commit there is no need for the undo data so this is first part second if a user perform a ddl 
like create drop alt or rename on the table on which undo data is maintained like if you insert, inserted update or deleted any rows from a uh, table and uh, after that we are performing create drop alt or rename for that table then we do not require that undo data undo data is gone after that undo data can't be maintained for that if the user session terminated abnormally like uh, some system shut down some power off or something like that if that happens then transaction rolled back to the previous state and uh, previous state is as previous state is undo data so we don't after that undo data won't be stayed staying in the database if a user session terminated normally with an exit like if a user uh, made some transaction and uh, he made an exit uh, then the transaction gets committed and after commit we do not require undo data the last point is undo data stores in undo and rollback segment which is a part of undo table space so we have a separate table space for managing undo data which is called undo table space all the data is copied from the db buffer cache to undo segment so undo segment in we, we have undo segment for the data uh, where we where we have undo segment or rollback segment where we are storing the data until we have uh, the period for that period we have mentioned in the uh, our parameter for undo table undo parameter which is uh, defined for uh, maintaining undo data an instance can have only one active undo table space which is owned by sys system user you can say okay so here you see i have already already this uh, i can do it again okay so we can use use this data diction review to get uh, the table spaces of the database okay so this data we can uh, check what what are the tab what are the columns in this describe tba table spaces okay you have these are the columns you can query table space name block block size initial next and next extent but these are the state comments will require this uh, for different purposes so here we are taking just this one we require table space name block size status of that and contents the max size of which is defined to a table space so let's see what we are having it here okay so here we have five table spaces defined in the database this is a fresh database you can see and uh, you can have system system auxiliary i have already described all these in my previous videos system system auxiliary undo tbs1 temporary and users users have users data temporary have temp data required for uh, temporary indexes where during the transactions and undo tbs1 it, this is which we are talking about the content is undo so this will this table space has undo data okay so we can query this you can use this if you are not getting correct output you can set line size to 130 150 whatever your requirement is then <clears throat> put the columns we are going to fetch and mention it here first running these and then you can run the script so that you will get the correct data okay the another data dictionary view is dba data files we can query this as well i haven't copied i guess okay let's see okay 
you see select file name table space name bytes has consumed status auto extensible max bytes as max bytes max size i uh, have i mentioned it wrong okay i'll correct it from dba data files okay so dba data files is the another view we can query to see what are the files associated to a table space so for users table space we have this data file for undo tbs1 this table space we have this data file for system and system auxiliary these are the data files uh, if we see what are the consumed data bytes for these consumed md mb consumed data in mb we can see here and what are the max this is what we have max size if we have auto extensible on it yes for all the status is available for all okay so this is how you can query if you if you just want to see select for a particular table space you can query that as well the same query what i have mentioned table space name undo tbs1 same way you can uh, mention another table space or anything so you have mentioned table space name undo tbs1 so you see you'll see on detail about this what is the location of the file where which is storing the data for undo this is the site so undo is required when uh, when we have a lot of transactions going on and uh, we, we require this so that we'll get the correct uh, output during uh, our long running uh, statements or uh, if in, in case of near rollback or transaction commit we require this undo data so in our next videos we are going to see what are the further topics covered for this okay so i'll see you in next videos